Greetings, and welcome back to Voxel Tycoon. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have been giving a lot of thought to our situation of things and stuff here. I have had many ideas from having like a dedicated iron train just going back and forth between these two areas, um, and then moving maybe this station in the middle here, or having a move the big station out to here or something, um, and maybe adding another station here in Sumter West. But... I had a look real quick at um, the research. And if we look at this research, we can see we have electronic device production, which we can start, uh, and then computing devices, invent the first computer to win the game. So I don't know if it's worth it. Um, I guess we'll start this one for now, electronic devices. Um, we also might need researching too, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's go ahead and just have all of our lab suit electronic device production uh, and see what we get with that. Uh, and in this episode, I keep talking about uh, Patreons and um, patrons, Patreons, all the things, and subscribers. But I also want to highlight members. Thank you so much, everyone, for becoming uh, a member to the channel. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with memberships, memberships are kind of like Twitch subscriptions, uh, where you can get uh, special emoticons to use if you uh, comment. Um, and you can use those anywhere you want, I think. And it's kind of cool. It's just fun. It's another way to, to kind of support your favorite uh, content creator. Where is this one going? Oh, it's probably going yeah, down there. So anyway, so I've had many thoughts, but it's like, well, if we're going to win in five minutes anyway, is it worth it? So what I'm thinking is I want to I, I need to trim down this part of the city a bit, a tiny bit. Uh, I'm just going to chip it all off here yeah sorry we apologize for the inconvenience but uh yeah i think i'll leave those two houses but i am gonna put uh some railroad tracks here in fact i might put the railroad track here uh no i won't actually i'm going to put in some temporary like do not pass railroad tracks here like that okay look at this they're trying to get into my factory oh my gosh huh <laughs> well we need to get some of this sorted anyway i don't know what's going on here if it's kind of like uh no it's not a lack of resources it seems to be it seems to be just a lack of production so we definitely need a few more of these um these things so let's go ahead and make those real quick get this going so i'm gonna just extend this for a fair bit like there sure chop into the mountains it's fine um do i wanna hmm what i can do actually is put them opposite as in does this thing have any i think we can delete some of these things i think we can definitely delete like this guy and start to put some on this side of things I think that would be appropriate. So let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, just because I don't want to cut into that mountain because we are going to have uh, some stuff going on over there. So let's see what we can do with this. I want to... We want to put down these factories in such a way that they work. Let's see. Can we put one here maybe? Let's put one here, the first one. So we definitely need a... Hmm. Let's try this and see if that works. I think it should, possibly, if we make a little keyhole cut in here. Yeah, that, that will work. So we go through with that and then it joins up. That will definitely work. All right, that's very fine. Um, we're making iron bars here. Go ahead and click those in. Uh huh. Yeah. And this is fine. We can have this gap here. I don't mind that at all. Let's see. Mining facilities. But I do want to take this one down to this level. 
just allow ourselves a tiny gap and go down like this i think that's better okay um let's put in some more factories one can go here and we'll take the next here mm, good 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 that's very nice uh, iron bars yeah because we definitely need more iron bars that is not in question we definitely need more okay so i think that will work that's a bit more production here um i i'm thinking we'll be able to support it it's going to be interesting to see how we can unload these trains efficiently because that's definitely something i am concerned about okay so let's see this guy can also receive from this end and i'm thinking of doing that uh like this we need to get another tunnel here Let's see if i can do a tunnel like that that seems fun t mm -hmm. yep good that seems to work well let's get a connector over here all right and so this one will need to go in there that's the thought anyway Okay, let's take this guy and go this away, like that. Delete this bit, very nice, and reverse this. So yeah, anyway, I, I don't know, I kind of felt like a little bit something, like, oh no, the game is ending. Uh, and another like, oh, why should I put in the effort to make something that's going to end here shortly? So yeah, I had that feeling of like, hmm, yeah. But I, I don't really like when sandbox games have an end to them. It feels very bad. I felt like, I, I don't like the whole like, oh, beat the game. That doesn't even make sense to me. Like, you cannot beat a sandbox game. It just doesn't exist. Um, because you can always keep building. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, once you launch a rocket, you beat the game. But I don't think in that way. I guess, because there is no real end to the game. Not really. Uh, all right, let's get these guys going that way. All right, so we have we have some possibility here, which is great. Uh, all right, so these are going to be our underground-y thingy thingies. So let's go ahead and... Um, I think I'm gonna... Let's do this first. Let's do the upper ones, and then we'll do the underground-y ones later. Okay, good, good. And then I will do the little keyholes for the others. We just need a little bit there just to tell it where to go. So yeah, it's it's sad. It's like, huh. But um, I have plenty of other games that I can play. That is for sure got many many choices one is factory town of course you've heard me talk about uh my friend wally who is just really great at these kind of things and if you want to visit his channel feel free check it out uh it's pretty great and he's very very good at the game so factory town is an option and we have um factorio of course is always an option dyson sphere is getting a new update here shortly or maybe it will by the time this episode airs because i'm a tiny bit ahead in my recording schedule uh so yeah there's a lot of things that can be played so let's see this is working swimmingly looking fabulous and great all the great and all the fabulous is happening let's see yeah, I think we're going to need multiple warehouses to kind of uh, make this actually very functional. Yeah, this is even not functioning completely. Huh? Why? What is going on with you? Dude. Okay, apparently it can't go past that. That makes me sad. But that's okay. We can fix this. We can do a little bit of a different bridge here. Uh, where it doesn't uh, in touch this one or it's not so close. Not TB. B is what we want. 
uh, and then go zero like that. There we go. That should work. Because I think what happens is there's like a collision that happens there and it won't go for whatever reason. Uh, all right, so we built more production, but I don't think we're going to actually have enough iron there. So I shouldn't have cleared this bit, but it's okay. I, will, I do want to buy, before we run out of money, we want to buy this area as well. Because this is our wood area where we're going to get new wood. More wood. All the wood. Please wait. We're exploring the world. We will come back with results shortly. And they will be delivered into an area of bureaucracy that has not yet been uncovered. Okay, let's go here this way and around. Yeah, this seems good. This seems great. Great and good. Nice. Okay. Yeah, stop stop expanding town. Stop that. <laughs> naughty. Naughty, naughty. Let's get rid of these bits and then just snip this over here. We're, no, no, no more. Do not. Do not cross. And then here, I'm just being a bit sloppy here. Okay, there we are. Yeah, with um, Railroad Tycoon, or not Railroad Tycoon, but um, Transport Tycoon, TTD. It was awful because the 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 uh, roads could cross straight tracks so either you most of the time you just put diagonals all over the place to make them not cross it was quite funny uh anyway here's our wood mine a new wood mine new iron ore mine but iron ore is running out quick it is we now have only 28k this is not ideal uh i could build i think i need to build another warehouse here so let's build one there, which will also supplement this area here, I think. Let's grab this one. Go here, this way. Yeah, there you go. And reverse this part. Hooray. And iron ore. Yay. Okay, so this is also going to grab from wherever is closest here. Because we are really running out of these steel bars. There's not much, uh, not many iron ore bars getting to there. So that's not ideal. It does look like some of these are backing up here. And I guess that's because we have only one of these lines going this way. And it's sharing with the bolts and it's sharing with the steel. So that's not ideal. Anyway, we did have an issue. Uh, one thing that we are not doing is we are not getting any um, any circuits into research. And I forgot to address that first thing. So let's click this station and find out about the circuits. So we have a circuit train going into Eleonora transfer. Um, and I don't know. I think what we should do is maybe make this not a full load let's see where are you going you are there i'm wondering if we should take this uh you know what we should do actually we should actually just make another train i think that's the best idea so i'm going to let's see what i need to do is just go to the depot and copy that train which is going to be way expensive so we need to run the game faster <laughs> Oh dear. Headquarters. Let's upgrade it. We now have over 89 million, so we should get another 5%. That's very nice. Okay. Car 28 has not earned money. Oh uh, yeah, that's those guys. I should do the mute unprofitable notifications. I'll click the others as well. Mute, mute. Okay. Thank you very much. I think I just muted you. I hope I just muted you. Uh, all right, and I'm going to copy this circuit train. Okay, it's not actually that expensive. I thought it was more. But we need to change the schedule on this guy. Yeah, it actually just makes me sad. Like, oh, this is the end. I almost thought, well, well this is going to be the last episode because there's nothing left to do. I get like that in Factorio where it's like, oh, gee, you know, we should we should stop playing because this is it. 
So I avoid a rocket launch until the very, very, very end. Like, I'll build a whole mega base and not launch a rocket. Uh, of course, if you do that, though, you are losing out on all of the research that you could have done uh, with the infinite research. But um, sometimes it's worth it, I guess. Okay. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, let's fix that. Okay. So that's fine. Now we need to change this and do this to that. Jeez. Uh, save this as a new thing and go. What is going on here? Okay, we have trains stopping. We have many trains waiting. It might even be worth, I think it might be worth having a separate train platform in here. Just like demolish half that town and put it in. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, the iron ore here is going very, very quickly. I want to make a railroad here. Um, so the idea that I had was like maybe have all of the rail things here. As in all of the, I don't know, the metal parts and the iron plates and all that. But we have such a system going here. And since the game is already almost over, I'm not going to do that. I think I'm not going to bother. So let's see. I'm going to make a single line through here um, because we can just yeah can I do a bridge here thank please thank you bridge to v0 thank you go across yep we're just gonna do a single line it doesn't even need to be double tracked I think it's just gonna be going from one place to the other actually I could do this right yeah, why, why are we not crossing a lake? Hello. Let's just do this and we can do bridge. Somebody told me, yeah, you can put it right at the base, but I think it's nicer to go up one tile. Uh, it looks better, I think, like this. Yeah, there we go. I mean, you can go up more tiles if you like. I mean, there's no limit to this at all. Now then, um, okay, let's fix this iron deposit real quick. I want to, let's see, level this area a bit. First of all, let's level this out. And I want to put in a big warehouse in the center. Possibly more than one. Um, possibly more than one. Let's do two. Let's do two large warehouses. That's not a large warehouse. That's weird. Okay, another large warehouse. There we go. Let's just put them there. And we are iron oaring. Wait, is that... Can I verbify that? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's highly illegal in the English language. That sounds very bad. Okay, let's fix this. Uh, iron mines. So let's get these guys going... I wonder if I put this here, can I put another one there? No. Okay. So let's make this this way. We'll make it narrow. So iron mine. Okay. Let's put this one there. Yeah, that one fits there quite nicely. Yeah, the idea here is to get as much throughput as possible. But I don't think I'm succeeding very well. I think I planned this very badly. Yeah. Oh, well, it's it'll be fine. It's enough. There we go. There's another one. Okay, so iron buildings are made. I am going to now build a train station. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I think I will make two platforms here. Uh, let's see, rail. I don't, I, well, I don't need two platforms. It's fine. Let's see. We need to get our terraforming going on first. Okay. This is just going to go down, down, down. That's fine. Let's get ourselves a train station. We'll have two platforms. 
And we're gonna go to 200 meters. Okay, go. We're gonna put this guy down here. And that seems fine. Okay, very good. Very good. All right. So this is the closest we can make this, which is just fine. Oops, what happened there? That looks very strange. Okay, uh, this will give us at least three parking spaces then, which is nice. All right, there we go. That will be, let's see, we need to take this and smoosh it down to go that way. Perfect, perfect. And we'll just go ahead and, oh, this is, this is naughty. Err, okay. Nope, we, we got it, we got it. Oh, really? Okay. One more. Okay, there we go. All right. So we're gonna put in signals here, of course. And then here we're gonna be, we're having one-way signals here. And then this is going to be our pre-signal here and regular signals into each of these spots. And I think we will obviously we'll need our own depot for here. Uh, I'm envisioning this as kind of a, I don't know. It'll be, it'll be interesting, I guess. Anyway, we're going to, we're going to put the depot here. I think let's do a, we don't need a coming in thing because we have the magic send to depot thing. So let's put this here. Depot two. We can buy a train for this. It doesn't cost us anything. Uh, we're going to pick this one, I think, and buy the iron ore cars. Let's take this open car. Sure keep forgetting to hit shift and then later you can't it's like nope not allowed and I'm gonna make this as long as possible I think there's 196 I think that's gonna be the thing so now all we need to do is send it uh, to these stations but we need to kind of get rid of this iron ore here what I'm thinking though is I can put the station here maybe I don't even need these other iron miners i don't know i guess they all contribute to the throughput here uh, but this one is full these are full all the time so yeah let's leave it for now and we might reorganize how this is distributed later but it does look like we are getting a lot more iron into stuff though i don't know why these bars aren't coming out quite as fast as they should because it seems like they're going out, but I'm wondering, hold on one second. Let's see. I want to check something here. Let's reduce all sources. And I'm thinking, like, I'm wondering if I should change this to the other warehouse, the faster warehouse. I don't know if it'll make a difference, but no, look at this. Now it's going full belt. But I think it was because there were two belts. I I mix. I was expecting this to be factorial like, as in, uh, it will take from the warehouse whatever is put in the warehouse. Kind of like each of these is independent, and it doesn't matter. Um. Oh, geez, this is a pain. I wish you could like fast replace these by putting another one on top. Can I do that? I don't think so. No. Sad times. All right. Well. I guess we'll remove it. But I don't I don't know if the um this this loading and unloading time affects anything about that at all. I don't actually think so. I'm I'm kind of skeptical, but it's weird to me seeing that it's only half a belt on one side, half a belt on the other side. That seems very strange. And I hope they they kind of like fix that. Because if you have a, a chest or something or, or a warehouse in Factorio, you can take as much as you want. Just each each uh, insert or um, 
yeah, each inserter or loader is what determines, uh, you know, how fast you can get stuff out. That is curious. Ah, I guess I have to delete this one anyway. It's funny. So yeah, uh, this is a bit unexpected and I don't really, I don't get it. I really don't get it because the thing about this is that one warehouse will only ever be able to output a single belt. And that is not what I'm looking for. That's kind of the, defeats the point, I think. So I hope they, they fix that. I don't know if that's intended or unintended behavior. But when both of these belts are going, this thing sure does, um, yeah, it only does half a belt on each. That makes me a bit sad, actually. I wonder if we need to have like a separate warehouse for each thing. Like each belt going in needs a separate warehouse or some kind of like magic splitter device that will help that situation. I'm not quite sure. Uh, anyway, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in the train station. I decided, yes, we're going to delete these guys, please. And then we can always supplement with the train coming in if we want to. Oh, thank you, save. Woohoo. Okay. And then we'll get our station here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it as close as possible. And the reason for that is that all of these buildings will be gone. So it's not really necessary to have it any further distance away. Oh, this is not good. No. Err. Hmm. Yes. Well, uh, mistakes were made, shall we say, but it's okay. We can have a little squiggle on the rails. There is no sense in wasting a million dollars in getting that fixed. No sense at all. None. So I think what's going to happen here is that we want to take this round. Okay. Um, could go like this and like that and... I think we're going to do a bridge uh, to be at zero height. Okay, good, good. And then we're going to go as fast as possible or as far as possible and then go like that. That seems reasonable. All right, let's connect this up as well. Now, this is going to be our parking lot again, as we have had before. So uh, again, going in and out, out. Sure. And these guys in, in. Now, uh, I guess we can have a pre-signal here. There we go. But otherwise, we do not want any signals on this entire stretch. None. Like zero. Absolutely zero. Because we do not want um, trains. If there is more than one train, we do not want it to get stuck here. So anyway, that's uh, that's what we're doing there. Let's see. Daily City East. I like that name. Daily City. That sounds fun. Let us add the, the schedule here. Load full. And then add here unload full. Okay. So this is going to work. Wow. We're down to 18k. This is going down quick. Jeez. That's quick. Iron. I'm just going to call this iron ore. And we're going to know what it is. All right, and we're going to leave it alone right now. Whew, wow, that's quick. All of that depleting. 37k wood. That is also not good. Uh, I think we need to connect the wood wood mine as well. So here's our wood mine. Um, I guess we're going to have um, taking off from there. Wait, what's down here? Oh, there's Warren. Do we own this? Yeah, we do. Okay. Let us get, oh yeah, we didn't uh, train Warren. <laughs> Sorry, Warren. We're kind of like inconvenience you, but it'll be fine. We're gonna try to be as, well, I don't know, as littling, geez, what are the words for that? As least inconvenient as possible? No, as insufficiently inconvenient. I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm not gonna try. This is getting bad. <laughs> 
Apparently the words are not coming to my brain at the moment, but maybe later. Let's see. Uh, I think what we're going to do is clear a bit of this to make the... Um, no, actually, maybe we should do it a bit differently. What I'm going to do here is start with the wood mines. And then go from there. Because I feel like that's a better option here. Let's go here and then here and then over here. I'm just going to build as many as we can. So those are all at the same level. I feel like we can do the next level maybe this way. Like that, sideways. And then we're going to have our warehouses. Um, oh, you know what? I want to do a wood mine first to find how, I don't know, how far in we should put these warehouses. Oh god, they're, they're stacking the logs. I love that though. It's great. Seeing those logs go up is so cool. Alright, there's one and we'll do the second one here. That's fine. So this one doesn't get that furthest one, but that's not a big deal. I think we can we can chill with that. It is fine. Okay, very nice, very nice. And here is the next set. We can turn that one sideways because there's an extra like little space here. And it'll make it a tiny bit shorter. Actually, we can do all of these that way. Just in hopes that we can get another snuck in here. Okay, Nacogdoches now accepts more circuits. Wow, cool. All right, now then, let's get our railroad thing going on. We want to make a space here and then get our station snuck right in here. And all of this actually will go to the train. So technically this train station will take from all of those places. So this is fab, this is great. Now then, I want to, we are gonna wanna, gonna wanna, do something like this and then go down. Yeah. And this one will just connect up to there so we have an easy way out. And this is going to be... Hmm. Uh, do we... Oh, wait. Do we want to have only one... Only two trains coming in here? I guess it could be three. I Well, we could have parking. We could have parking for this. There, I don't think there are many trains that actually take wood. Let's see. We have one wood. Wood frame. Wood beam. Nope, just one. There's only one, uh, one uh, route with trains that take wood. So that's great. That's great. So we can move that one here. And then the rest will be uh, just going to take wood to the proper factory. Okay, let's go this way and do a tunnel. No. Please go to zero, please. There we go. That looks nice. Okay, so um, that can go this way. Now we just need to figure out how we want this to go. We probably want to connect hmm, up here, I guess. That might be the best place. Let's just take these over hill and dale. Oh dear, look at this. This is awful. Nope, we're not going to let this stand. No, 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 no. Bad. This is not going to be good. Let's take that out. All right, and train again. Train tracks. There we go. Yay. So, let's see. When we're taking our wood train in, I think it is actually a good idea. To oh, hello. We can use this. Nice. It's a very natural place to add it. Since we are being sneaky after all. Do need to chop off a little bit of this one? Tiny bit. There we go. Okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, and then the hard part, I guess, is going to be trying to figure out 
uh, how we want to do these overpasses and things like that. Go a little bit further and go like this, sure. And go this way. Might turn off that train 18 <laughs> notification. It is very annoying at this point. Train, what is train 5 doing? Oh gosh, what's happening? Oh. Oh wow, this is this is a bad thing. Okay, this is this is this is um this is not ideal. Definitely not ideal. So something has happened here. I think this one might be too long where it thinks it's past the signal even though it's clearly not, but maybe it's in the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and release this. Ignore the signal. I'm going to go very slowly. That one, because I knew it was going straight. But this is actually an issue. Uh, I think what we need to do here is make a parking lot. Because this is not good. No, no, no. Alright, what we're going to do is we are going to make a parking lot here. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's fix this. We desperately need to fix this. This is not good. It's like, nope, this will not fly. No, no, no. Can you please work with me, game? Do this. All right, let's do proper terraforming and it'll work better. That's for sure. It definitely will. Okay, I hate to cut into the mountains like this, but it's okay. We're gonna, we're doing mass production now. What I want to do is I want to cut off this entrance for now and get these trains out of here and this one out as well. Okay, that one will go though. That's good. Okay, that's... It's going to move on so that we can actually edit the rest of this track fairly well. Okay, now they're in a jam. This is not ideal. Oh, really? Okay. It's fine. It'll be fine. We'll just we'll just make this the best way we can. It'll be fine. All right, let's go here and turn. Okay, here up there and turn. No, still missed it. Please. There we go. There we go. Okay. So these guys got to be a little bit long. They are slightly longer than the platform. That's all we need, really. I'll make them about the same length, uh, but it's going to be okay. Ah, yes. This actually will work fine if we do kind of a, you know, just join them this way. That'll be nice and easy, quick, quick. And all of a sudden we have a parking lot. So parking lot's gonna work very similar to how the station works. As in, we have, um, we need a signal here to choose. So that is our pre-signal, lets it choose which parking space to go into. We need a regular signal going into the parking space. But outside the parking space, we need a um, also the choosy signal. But here, we want to make sure that signal is deleted so that none of these trains can actually go forward unless there is a free space. So we're putting the pre-signal here so that it looks and sees, ah, is there one there? So basically, it serves the function of choosing that one and also preventing them from going uh, when they're not supposed to. So now we've kind of doubled the capacity here of this area, which is fabulous. And um, wow, that was a mess. That was a, a right mess. Jeez. I kind of think that maybe I should make this station a bit bigger. This is our sand station. What is going... Why are we slow on these things? Is it just... Ah, we're actually waiting for glass panes to be made. All right. I guess maybe it's just, yeah, just a slow process. Maybe we need more makers or maybe, maybe we need more warehouses. That's another option as well. But it does look like we're out of coal. So that's a big problem. That's a big problem. Let's see how much coal we have. Because it could be uh, an issue of we only have 45K. Yeah, coal is de being depleted. Let's check on the wood. And let's also check on the iron. Because I, wow, I, look at how fast we're depleting this iron. 15K. Whoa, scary times. Jeez. Okay, well, we're, um, we're going to be good. We're going to figure this out. 
which is the best part of the game, of course. We all know this. This is fabulous. Yay. Um, all right. So let's see. This part is... We're going to use this as the coming in part of this thing. Um, so what that means is if we get a sidetrack like this and go bridge in, bridge mode bridge mode oh <gasps> no it's diagonal ah yeah, i don't think we can do diagonals can we probably not no definitely doesn't like diagonals but we can under it we can do an undie under under thingy thingy that works let's go a tunnel instead t all right and we're gonna go under here and come up over sure here that's not great but ah that's why it did it so long is because yeah hmm i guess we're gonna just we need to kind of figure out where ah there it is that's where we want to be so let's see if we can gently come up to this level oh that's nice that's re that's not as nice here wait what happened here oh wow okay all right sure sure that's fun I wonder if that's connected. I think, yeah, it is. It looks like a smooth slope there. Okay, so that's going to be our in. Wait, in. And this one is actually the wrong direction. So this needs to go differently. I should have made this a little bit more leeway. Okay, we can do that though. It does work. Okay very nice so okay so that's coming into here that's going in there i'm really liking to make these overpasses because man we have so much so much uh in terms of oh oh problem problem here look at this it's another block that is a bit scary times so what we need to do here is make sure that this can downslope into there hello uh thing please no yes no <laughs> something help help you don't want to go mm -mm. see it'll go up here but it's not connecting properly no nope. no alas we have made a mistake let's fix it okay that is proper it just took a couple of, um, a few more tiles. Okay, there we go. That looks much better. Let's put on our signals now. Ah, yes, see, it's all one block now, so it's quite a, quite a happy camper there. Uh, all right, we'll have this stop there. And, of course, it's always good to put signals after you branch off. That's a nice thing. And I will go ahead and just do multiple mode here. Now we don't have a parking space. Uh, because I feel like this length is more than enough space for stuff. So we don't really need a parking space there. We do need to add a pre-signal here for the choosing part. Okay. Um, and then let's make this other... Uh, this would be the exit for stuff. So let's see. We can have this exit going that away. Um, hmm. Trying to figure out like what is the best way to go out of this place. <laughs> yeah, it's it's confusing. It's like where I don't know. It's just, it's one of those, like, you have this blank canvas and you can put it anywhere you want. And it's great. It can be great. Let's see. Multiple mode on here. 
turn it off again for there. I think this is good. It's plenty of blocks there. And I think what we'll do for this is I want to, I guess, go under here, possibly. This seems like an okay place under the mountain here. And then we'll make the turn here-ish. So let's see if we can make that work. Let's see. Take this thing. Because going over seems a bit interesting. Um... I guess, I guess we can, we could cross, but it's like, no, that's going to be, yeah, I don't want to cross. I have, there's too many crossings already that we have going on here. So let's take this down here maybe, and then go tunnel. Let's go this way. Yep. And then up, oh, it was a little bit further than I imagined it should be. No, this doesn't work at all, does it? Ah, but we can make this work here, I think. Can this work that way? Yes, it can. Okay, nice. And we're going to do something quite similar here. We're just going to do a 90 degree curve. I like to do diagonals, but there it just didn't quite fit. So we're going to just do it that way. Let's take this one there. And yep, there we go. Okay. We are doing well. All right. We made it work. Hooray. So I think what I'm going to do is we can take the one train that is already uh, going here for wood. Let's take this wood uh, train and send it to the other station. And we'll make our first transfer of stuff. Uh, normally I would probably deplete the place, but it's like, eh, let's just fix this. This is going to be woodland, we'll just call it, uh, wood, woodland two. I should have called the other place an iron ore place, but it's okay. Okay, so let's change this to here. This is going to be our very first train coming into woodland two. This is great, fun. And then now we're going to have to do some... Extra trains coming in and delivering wood here instead of the other way around. That's going to be kind of funny. Kind of funky. Okay, 31k wood. And then let's look at our iron ore for one last time. 11k. It's running out very quickly. <laughs> and it does, well, it doesn't look like it's that quickly. Jeez, we are really suffering under a lack of iron ore. It might just be worth transferring over and starting that train. Um, because this is going to get the priority anyway. So let's go ahead and release this train and just watch it do its thing. Let's go train. Go, go, go. Daily City East. Is this actually Daily City that we have here? It is. Okay. So we're just going to call this Daily City. No, we're going to call it Iron Land. Iron Land 2. Yep. Okay. Okay train is going down the tracks look at this this is great okay it's going through the parking area first and then it's going to wait it's going to unload very slowly but you see the increase in the amount of iron coming out here is massive that's good very good and this will still deplete and we'll see how much storage we need here but i bet it's going to run out pretty quick and then what we're going to do is probably have a lot of extra warehouses around here that can feed all of these arrays. And in retrospect, I should have done, I don't know, a more factorio kind of system with more, um, kind of a wider bus of products here. I feel like I did it decently, but it's not great for expansion. So I think I, I would choose to do it differently. Uh, at another time. So anyway, this is, yeah, it is running out. We're going to definitely need two trains here, but that's okay. You know, while one is unloading, the other one can be going along the, uh, the shared track there and it's going to be all good. And I'm really happy we got our wood things sorted out. We don't need coal yet. So kind of lucky with that, but it's going to be very, very easy to transfer over. So this just kind of shows you really don't need to have the infinite ore mod on. Uh, it's not necessary at all. Uh, and in fact, the game kind of like encourages you to open up the map and explore and do things like that. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.